All right, it's Kyle Kyle's Tracks and Trails. Hopefully everyone's having a good day and staying dry. It's been kind of raining here. We're going to try a different tarp configuration using my free soldier tarp. The same thing can be done with the Pathfinder tarp on the video I saw, but we're going to use my free soldier tarp because it's just much more room inside there. He didn't show what was inside there. But anyways, before it starts to rain on me and my phone, let's get her done and let me get you over there. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, as you can see, I already have this right here staked down. This corner and that corner. I'm going to come over here. All I'm going to do is all you need is a toggle. You can use a pole if you want to. I don't usually use a walking stick, and I usually don't carry the trekking pole, so I'm using a ridge line. And we'll come over here and we'll grab this like this. I'm going to go ahead and scoop this over here. We'll pit that first stick loop. Through that loop. And I'll move it down a little bit more. There we go. Let's go through there now. There we go. Go ahead and toggle it. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it. Now I'll show you more. Tighten a little bit more there. We go. I'll bring you in closer as I get this set up. Let me grab another toggle. The next thing we're gonna do is I have my first stick loop. But then I tie the lark's head inside my Persig loop. And all I'm going to do is take this middle one. Now I did that to add some length. You can make it longer if you like. This is my back pocket. The only thing I'm going to do here is take it. Get on through there. It's kind of a wag by the up. You can do this a little bit different if you like. I'll drag you in closer. See what I got going on. And the only thing I'm going to do, just bring it in closer, is I'm going to create that pocket. And almost like a modern spike itch. And I'll show you that here in a minute. There we go. That's what I'm going to do there. Then I'll push it back a little bit. Tighten it up a little bit. There we go. There's the start of that. This right here is going to be my door. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. Right here and I'll explain this to you as I get you in closer to it. Right now let's just get this set up. Now I want Yeah. This right here like this. A little bit out more. There we go. Let me grab my hammer here. Hope I don't find no rocks. I didn't the last time. Now what I'll do is I'll come over to the other side. Put a stake in there. There we go. I have that in the right spot. thing we're going to do, and I got an extra steak, it takes five steaks to do this with. You don't need all these steaks, you can grab toggles out of the woods off the ground. 
Now I'm gonna come over here. I may have done that wrong. Hold on a minute. May have to make some adjustments. I don't know yet, so hold on a minute. Don't think I'm gonna have to. I don't think. Nope, good. I was going to make some adjustments there. You can play with it. And sit to your knees, but this works for me. Let me down there a little bit more. If you want, you can find a way to close that more. This is not going to be bug free unless you put a mosquito net in there. But it will keep you out of the rain. I'm going to see if I can move this a little bit more. Nope. I ain't going to move further either. But basically, this is how you get in. Let me show you. you got to bend over. Just like that. That's how you get in and out. And you can probably take something through here to close it off a little bit more if necessary. And you can do this from the inside. Probably just take a carabiner. And you can do this however you want. I can take a carabiner and now put it to there and it's a little bit more closed off. Now, let me take you around and I'll explain everything that I got set up. All right, there we are, all set up. The only thing I did was I stretched it out back here. I put a stake there and I put a stake there. Then I came up here, putting the toggle through. Just like that with my Persic loop. And I came back here, did the same thing, except for to make this longer. You might want a longer bursting loop. All I did was make that fish not for the first one, made myself a lark's head. Now instead of putting it through the pocket like I normally would, I just went ahead and made a modern spike hitch. You see that? All I did was make that pocket. There's my bursting loop, and then there's my lark's head attached to it. Then I came over here, and I staked both sides down like, let's see, there's the first loop, there's the second loop. I can probably put more in here if I wanted to. There's those two loops, they don't have stakes in them, no big deal. Then I came over here, there's that stake I was talking about, just like on the other side. One loop, come on down, two. There's my other two loops coming down the door. Now as I did, let's put the stake to the both of them. That's all I did. Now this isn't exactly bug free. So you better have on some bug spray before you fall asleep or have a bug net in there with you. Sure you fur. And I'll show you the inside as soon as we get in there. I'll be back with you. Now here we are inside. Nice and cozy. Enough room I can actually set up if I want to. As you can see, I can probably get on my knees. Well, it's a barely. I can't get on my knees, but I tell this touching top. I'm not standing up in this, but the fact I can set up in it's actually good enough for me. So let me take you for some of a tour here. There's the opening. Like I said, that can be closed off. You can actually probably, let's try that. I'm going to grab this stake. And instead of out, we're going to go in with it. If I can get it out of the ground. To close it off, I'll look at that. I don't have my hammer, so. But you can close that off. Look, all I did was put that in there. Let me move my mattress here. Try not to get too wet, it hasn't been raining. 
And I still have plenty of room to work with. If I have to, I can kind of just diagonal here. That way I'm not really... That dip a little bit right from me to get my stake right here. Plus I don't have my hammer to push the way down. It's one of those kind of stakes. Makes me wish I had a shotgun shell. Now I can do that. Got my mat. And I'll show you my mat here in a minute. Let me pitch you over here now. That's what that looks like over there. My mat. How am I going to do this? Let me get it down. Right here. Plenty of room. Let me get my feet down here and I'll show you. Turn it. And that should. Yep. Plenty of room. So everything's good. Yep. Now I kind of feel like it's here. It's kind of humid out there from the weather, so. But I can lay down. Kind of wish I had a pedal right at this moment, but that's alright. If I had a backpack, and make the pedal. Put underneath here. Or on top, whichever. And I have to tell you, this is a thermal rest. I actually got this thing. Great mat. I had something, I forgot what company it was from. It was a knockoff of this, and I did not like it. You can feel these things on your body. As way it's designed, these you can't feel. So, and it's enough of a mat that's comfortable but anyways i'm gonna quit rambling on about stuff if you like what you see hit that thumbs up and of course the next thing we can do is we inscribe to me the next thing we can do so we can stay notified is hit the all notification bell of course drop me a comment i do enjoy and appreciate the comments while i learn off each other also let's share out the video that way you can stay informed with each other and keep up with each other on social media I'll see you on the next one, guys. I'm out of here.